Before we wrap up, Square Enix has one more update for us today. They're hard at work on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the ambitious follow-up to the critically acclaimed Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's see what's in store for one of next year's most anticipated games. The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. The sky... I don't like it. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Am I the same as these monsters? Am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, <gasps> Sephiroth, you see. So you <laughs> heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. <laughs> They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah, I ask because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! Come on! On me. Alexander! my friend just for a bit a weapon two delirious creatures said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger who dares disturb my oh 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 it's upon us the reunion when worlds merge i'm waiting cloud enjoyed that new look at Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. It's coming to PlayStation 5 on February 29th. And that's all for State of Play. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, do you know what's so funny? I was watching on TikTok because I, I think someone was talking about it. Someone was commenting about how they couldn't wait to see. It was either on Twitter or TikTok. They couldn't wait to see um, because they were hoping to get a reveal of like Vincent or Sid. And I was secretly like, I actually can't wait because like we know how Vincent and Sid fight spear and guns, right? But like my thing, it was like, I really want to see how Kate Sith fights because in the old game, he like had like a megaphone and like did like the little like boom and had like toy soldiers and gambling and stuff like that. I'm like... I'm so curious to see if they made him because like that's my favorite thing about one of my favorite things about the remake is is like they made every character's combat style and like the way you play them completely unique and fun like like Barrett in the old game backline never touched him but in this game i played barrett so much because he was just so much fun to use they make all the characters really fun yuffie is incredibly fun we have to watch that again yuffie's elemental stuff yeah the ninjutsu stuff that's new that's fancy you sound so horny i am horny 
Also, Alexander, my favorite summon, just got a little a little release. Alexander. Alexander's always been my favorite. We're watching again. We're watching again. The world's ending. There's just a lot of really nice stuff least, here. That's what everyone's saying. The sky. I don't like it. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the Also new look. Order. I wonder if they're gonna implement the dancing minigame. Or like the the Zach is a hundred percent playable. Just close your eyes and listen. It's Help. interesting that they haven't shown Sid. They've like shown everybody, but they haven't shown Sid at all. That's I find that really intriguing. Oh my god, Cosmo! Look at Cosmo Canyon! Look at Cosmo Canyon! It looks beautiful. I mean, you can't hear that. Her rally. Where's this boat? Is this near Junin? Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Am I the same as these monsters? Fierce. Am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. So you Look at this. Too, did you? What are you talking about? Wait, did you see that? What does that mean? Look at this. Are y'all y'all watch this? Watch this. Watch this. It looks like Kate Sith is gonna be like you can choose between Moogle mode and cat mode. Look, because when he trans when he poofs and the Moogle's there, there's a symbol. So you heated the See that? It looks like he's gonna have like a mounted mode and an unmounted mode. Depending on how you want it. And like maybe that's where like the strength comes in. Oh too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, you uh, different colored chocobos doing different things, that's get it, together. Is this game gonna be more open world than the other one? Of yeah. Like I wonder what the world map's gonna I look ask, at. Because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! Trust in me. That sounds like um, Jungle Book. I don't trust it. Did you clock Cloud's outfit on the Segway? Where is that? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get together is it is it referencing something you're such a nerd you too is this referencing or are we just like pointing out the outfit <laughs> it's cute which makes me wonder if we're going to be able to change their outfits in this game because in in ever crisis you can get like they just released a little summer outfit where like tifa has like a little baseball cap and like a little a little outfit and red 13 has a little like shirt on and like a visor so i wonder if they're gonna allow you to uh switch outfits in game they're our best chance of finding suffering hi ahmed yeah i ask because i suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation do not be deceived you know the truth Trust in me. Sephiroth! The giant snake? Come on. Combos? A Kate Seth combo with Aerith? On me. I'm curious what this is. Oh, it does kind of look like Nibelheim. This might be flashback. This might be flashback. Um, no, it can't be because that's not. You know what this might be? 
high revel. You know what? This might be this might be Cloud still not uh this might be Cloud still like embodying who Zack was. So this might be a memory through S Cloud's POV where he was like a part of it when he wasn't a part of it. That's kind of what I'm guessing this is cuz this definitely looks like Nibelheim um or whatever in the mountains. So I feel like this is like an altered flashback when this is actually supposed to be Zack and Cloud's just there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Look at Alexander. Honey. Look at my favorite summon. Look at my favorite summon. Look how beautiful he looks. Look how beautiful my favorite summon looks. Look at all that holy, holy Ana energy. Who's this? This is this a, this isn't a summon, is it? Is this um? Oh, that's the Tetra. What's that one called? No, 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 no. I think that's the. I think that's the summon that, uh, uh, fuck, what's it called? Whales would know. The one that uses, like, Tetra magic. Because if you can see, it's fire. There's lightning there. Not Titan. Tetra summon. Kujata. It's Kujata. So Kujata, or however you pronounce it, is co is confirmed. Because it's a bull. And it casts, like, Tetra magic. So it casts, like, all, all four of the elements. So that's going to be a summon in the game. That's really cool. And Odin. My guess is Leviathan's going to be in it. I want to see Kujata again. A hundred percent. The golden saucer. What a great. I don't know what he has. I like that he's back. I guess because he was like the most viral moment. Um, I'm very curious. I'm very curious and I'm very excited. To see that. Yuffie is getting more. That you because Yuffie in the original game, as if people don't know, Yuffie was a bonus character, and you could play the entire game without her. Hi, Starlight. Thank you for the lurk. Starlight, it's so good to see you. You could play the entire game without Yuffie if you didn't find her. And she has nothing to do with the story except for like a little bonus content on the side. So I'm very excited to see her interacting with everybody. And I'm very excited to see her stakes in the storyline. Because, like, ultimately she should have stakes in the storyline because she's, like, the princess of Wutai. And Wutai and Shinra are at war with each other or were at war with each other. They are at war with each other. So it's it's going to... I'm very curious to see what she... What her part has to play. Also, is Daru, do you think... This is a really cute outfit, but I'm curious. Is Because, look, Aerith is in a regular outfit. Aerith is in a regular outfit. Yuffie is not. So it makes me wonder, are we getting outfits? Are we getting outfits? <laughs> look! Look! <laughs> Who's this guy again? Who is this? Oh, he's the the tournament guy at the gold saucer. Right? Th this is the tournament guy at the gold saucer. Dio. I low-key hate that Chocobo Racing is back, but this also shows that we're going to get to see uh, 
uh, Dine as well. We're going to get to see Dine and get that storyline, which is heartbreaking. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? So this is obviously alternate timeline. Because Cloud is literally comatose. Just for a bit. Who's that? A weapon? Tutelary creatures set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Who dares to Look at those boots. Look at those. So it looks like he's not going to be. Do you think that could be Glenn? Glenn. Who's Glenn? Disturb my slum. His hair looks good. His hair looks really good. Look at look at in the corner. Look at him. He's oh you can't see him. The blonde guy you play in Ever Crisis. Do you think they would include Ever Crisis characters into this? I mean, I guess it is connected. I haven't finished it yet. I don't even think Ever Crisis is. You can, I don't even think you can finish it. I just got to the point where I unlocked the next section of the first class and the Final Fantasy VII. You know what else I want to know? I want to know where Cisne is. Cisne was part of Shinra. She was in Dirge of... S no, she was in Crisis Core. Where is Cisne? She didn't die. Nothing happened to her. Where is she? Do you think Cisne is going to be in this? Now that we're getting like Zack focus storyline. I love Vincent. A lot of people love Vincent. He's definitely the fan favorite. Cisne was in the beach event in Ever Crisis 2. Yes, she was. She's she's very... She is a prominent character in Crisis Core and Zack's storyline. So the question is... Where is she? Will they bring her in? Imagine if Zack gets his own section and his own team and he gets like Cisne as a party member. That would be pretty fierce. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. I'm waiting, Cloud. That was really good. Everybody loves me. I do love you. I am like, I'm just, I'm just... I am so excited, but I'm also just so curious as to where they're going and who's going to, who's going to have a part to play in this game because they've already kind of flipped it a little bit. And there's so many people in the, like the Final Fantasy VII universe that could make an appearance. Also, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the areas. This is like the good part of Final Fantasy. Even though I love Midgar. I Midgar's my favorite, one of my favorite like starting zones in all of Final Fantasy. Midgar was so much fun. I never wanted to leave. I'm just like, I'm so curious as to what the if what the world map's gonna be like. Is it gonna be linear? Um is it gonna be open? Are you gonna be able to just like run everywhere? Is it gonna be like the true Starfield experience where you can actually like run from point A to point B? Wouldn't that be fierce? Also, we have three confirmed summons. That's so cool. Alexander, Kujata, and Odin. They did some interviews. Oof. I'm so excited to play that.